Hello everybody and welcome to my living room. In this time when we're all staying at home, this is my wall where I put things up to kind of test the test drive them and see what I think of them uh, before they get framed. Some of them are framed as you can see. Uh, today's the first day of the online art auction for the Symphony in the Flint Hills. And this painting right here is one of them that will be uh, in the up for auction and unfortunately the uh, website doesn't allow for a very close viewing of this painting that I did for the symphony and since you can't go to the gallery and see it in person I thought maybe I should show you some of the details up close it is framed so there's some glare um, but I kind of placed it here so that you could see uh, a little bit of the detail of the painting and try to block my image out. So it starts down here with the, uh, this this uh, painting was, is kind of late summer, early fall. So a lot of the uh, plant material is dying or turning to seed. So you can see little uh, details of seed heads there and I put a few things in here like there's a little grasshopper there and there's a little spider right there. There are things growing in the layers of the rock. My idea for this painting is is that um, these layers of rock tell tell the story of Coin Creek Road. The name of this painting is Now and Then, A Story of Coin Creek Road. And I was intrigued by all the little bits that are in the layers of the rock and you know wondering you know what happened in those eras when those different layers were created there's living material on some of the layers uh, as you can see and uh, on the top layer that's a um, gay feather and those are little skippers they were all over the place at the time when when we took the reference photo for this. Um, I created this painting out of watercolor um, and I, I'm a painter who uses a limited palette so this is all painted with just three primary colors. I use some technique, uh, salt technique, a lot of that for the, um, to get the texture in the rocks. And it's, it's a very time-consuming process painting this painting. All of this was masked out so that I could paint the background and maintain the plants in the foreground. So um, this painting represents hours and hours and hours of my time uh, and love and attention. And um, I just thought that if I showed it to you in a video like this, it might be a better way to both explain the painting, but also to show you the details in the painting and um, tell you a little bit about the concept that I had in mind. I have posted the link to the auction site uh, and I hope you'll go and take a look at all of the excellent artwork represented there that depicts the Flint Hills. 50% uh, of the proceeds go to support the symphony in the Flint Hills which exists to promote and preserve the beauty that we all know exists there. 